Hey, Faith and Begora, what you be doing there, laddie? Don't you know you're in a no parking zone there? Okay, I better stop. My name is Jared Butts, and I was a student of Fatima College from 1982 to 1989, which was a long time ago when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Yes, and uh, yes. No, I'm just kidding. That, that never really did happen. Never did really, no, that, that didn't happen. Anyway, I just, I'm just here to tell you about my, my experiences at Fatima College. I mean, when I, when I first went to Fatima, I have to tell you, I felt so out of place. Because when you're 11 years old and you, you find yourself in that, kind of, in that kind of environment for the first time, everything just seems so huge and insurmountable. But the beautiful thing about it was that that kind of change had prepared you for the real world. So when I look back on it, I, I appreciate the experiences that I've had. There are some experiences at Fatima that I have even grown to cherish. Uh, and I, could, I can always tell you that if there are two individuals who stand out for me now, keep in mind that all the teachers that I've had at Fatima were excellent teachers. They were brilliant in their fields. And really, I mean, I would not, I would not have, have, have changed it for anything. But the two teachers who stand out for me were Daphne Haywood, my literature teacher, my English literature teacher, and uh, Maurice Brash, who taught me French. And those two individuals, I think, helped foster a love for the arts, for, because at that time, uh, the emphasis back then was on academics and sports. Now, I was a terrible athlete, but I was a brilliant actor. At least I, I like the thing that I am. And um, in a sense, actors are athletes. Athletes of the heart. Yeah, didn't know that, huh? So that's something that, I, that, I, that I've always uh, um, lived by and I've always believed in. And th those two individuals, like I said, they helped me embrace my my individuality, they helped embrace my weirdness. Never mind the fact, again, that Ms. Haywood was a stickler for, for discipline. She wanted you to do the work. She wanted you to be dedicated to the work. And once she saw that in you, she would support you no matter what. Ditto uh, Mr. Brash, who, uh, a lot of people may not know this, but he did a TV series back in the late 70s. And he did other projects as well. So when I realized that he was teaching there, it was like meeting um, an amalgam of, of, of Mick Jagger and, and, and Robin Williams. He was funny. He is funny. Oh my God. He's funny. He's charismatic. And I, 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 I admired him a lot and I, and I, and I respected him. And uh, I think seeing him in his element, it, 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 it encouraged me to, to, be, to be more of the individual, to accept myself. And I realized that in accepting myself, other people accepted me too. So that was something that, 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 that I learned when I, when I was there. Um, I think probably the, the, most, the most memorable thing I've ever done um, at Fatima, for me, again, was back in 1986. I was just a teenager, obviously, and we did something for a play, a Christmas play, with some students from, from um, Holy, Name, Holy Name Convent. And that was, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed it immensely. I would have loved to do you know, things like that again. Uh, but, oh, and um, of course, honorable mention must be made of uh, Archbishop Anthony Panzen, who um, is the closest thing I think this country will ever have to, to a saint in my interactions with him when he would visit the college from time to time. I was always inspired by, by him and he, he was a true patriot and, and really an excellent human being. So there's that too. Uh, yeah, and of course, um, right now I'm I, I'm the morning guy on Platinum Hits 103.5 FM, where I get to do the job that I love, and um, I, I realize that I'm that's a, it's a, it's pretty rare to be to do a job that you actually like. <laughs> so that's important. Um, where I get to do all sorts of things, and I get to do a lot of crazy characters and voice characters, you know. 
um, like uh, Professor Fafafa. Well, how do you do today? It's wonderful to be here. Yes, and, uh, you know, under the bright lights, and uh, I haven't yet to see uh, any sort of, uh, you know, the big city or anything like that, but one step at a time will do, you see? Yes. And then, of course, uh, um, again, as a, as a tribute to Robin Williams, I, I also do the voice of Mrs. Doubtfire. Well, hello, dear. How are we doing today? Is it wonderful? I think so, too. Yes, this girdle is killing me. If I were wearing a girdle, but I'm not. And these are the things that, 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 I, that, I, that I enjoy doing. Uh, so, and that's, 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 that's a good thing about, 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 about Fatima. It helps you, it helps you to, to accept yourself as an individual. And um, I, again, here's a fun fact. Uh, perhaps you've heard of a film called Assault on Precinct 13, right? Directed by John Carpenter from 1976. Austin Stoker, who's the, the, the lead, who had the lead role, who was, he had the leading role in that movie. He was from Fatima College. A lot of people don't know that. And uh, yeah, and I hope one day to be following in Mr. Stoker's footsteps. Because yeah, and, and he he too is is one of the um, is one of the major influences in my life, and he he probably doesn't even know that. But if he gets to see this video, maybe now he will. Who knows? <laughs> uh, Fatima College is a place where you can you you know you get to know who you are. You get to, to you're in you're in a position you're in a fine position where you can where you can realize particular things, but you've got to be persistent. That's the thing, that's the key, to be persistent, to keep striving. And according to our motto, by striving, you shall conquer. And it might take a long time, it might not take a long time, but the important thing is not to give up. Do not give up on your dreams, never, ever, under any circumstances, give up on your dreams. And don't give up on Fatima either, which is why it is important that you donate to the college. How do you do that? Simple. Just go on the website, supportfatimacollege.com. That's the website right there, supportfatimacollege.com. Click on that and donate. Just give. And believe me, you will not only be doing, you know, the college a world of good, but also the students because the college is nothing without the students as well as the teachers and once we we continue to support Fatima College I think it will it will blossom even more into into an even more hallowed institution and and it can only get better so once again I am I am warmly urging you to support Fatima College Dot com, donate, give, and give generously. So that's 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 it. That that's it, right? We're done here. We are sure. Where's my limo? I, no, no. <laughs> Forget I said that. <laughs> but no, seriously, support FatimaCollege.com and donate.